Welcome, everyone. This is Bobby Jeezy and Easy coming to you out of Sanford, Florida, Racks Billiards. We have Petri Mackinan versus BJ Ussery. Still in the first round action side of the tournament, 10 ball tournament. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start this. We're going to lag for the opening break. Petri is on the left, BJ Ussery is in orange on the your right. Looks like Petri's going to win the opening lag, win the lag to get the opening break here. So it is one thing for the guys to have to remember who has what. And we're doing an alternate break, so the easiest way to remember is somebody's odds, somebody's evens. Game one's going to go to Petri, so he's odds. BJ's going to be evens for game two, four, six, and so on. Big break here for Petri. One, two, three balls on the break. Ten balls still within the rack area. Doesn't look like it's on the rack. He should be able to get it out. You're looking at the one ball. Looks like he cut the one in the side. Does have to turn the cue ball loose a little bit, so. See how froggy he's feeling in the first rack. Nice shot there. All right, so I would imagine a safe's coming up here. Looking at separating the, the three to the down, bottom of the table and putting the cue ball up behind the six. Hopefully, definitely going for distance. If he can get the blocker in two, that'd be perfect. He has called it. If he's shooting this, he's definitely going to have to let the cue ball go. See how committed he is to this. He fired right at it. What a shot. He's going to end up on the pro side. Oh, perfect. A great shot. He gets perfect shape on it, but your five ball is going to be difficult to get on from here. He wants to get above it. Come between, I guess, the nine and ten. Land just beneath the six ball. Hopefully, he just doesn't put too much English on this and rattle this ball out. He's got a slight angle. If anybody knows Josh McConaughey, the way to get in contact with him if he's here, let him know he's up on table seven. So this is going to be a great shot here. He's going to take what he can get on that five. I 
came with a nice little bank shot. He's definitely not happy with that. He wanted to do more with that opening rack. Oh, well, like I was telling you earlier, guys, um, BJ is known for the big headphones. I haven't seen him play with a Mac. come with a shot here comes in between the nine and ten and the ball needs to hold up here hold up here oh. looks like he still has room to cut this ball come side to side all I have to worry about here is making the six position on the nines given Makes a very nice shot there. Uh, this is just a shot of how you feel, what you feel most comfortable with. You're gonna punch out to the rail and come back and shoot them in the same pocket, or you're gonna slow roll and shoot it in the opposite corner pocket. He's gonna come back across and shoot him in the same pocket. Looks like BJ is going to take our opening rack here. Rack number one goes to BJ with his break. The main thing with these magic racks, they, they make racking the balls very repetitive. You can get the same result every time as long as you set it up properly. It's all about the setup here. A little bit of a tilted rack, you're not going to get that same repetitive action. Sorry, guys, it's only one. I wasn't trying to be uh, a guesser over here. I'm not trying to give no commentator's curse. No, I don't want to do that to Mr. BJ Usri. He's got everything zoned out here. He's, he's only worried about his own game. So there are uh, markers on the table. So if we, those who have played, you know what the markers are for. He's looking for his own marker, though. Nothing, BJ. See how BJ can break here. It was a great break from Pet Petri, but left a couple balls on the rail. It's hard to get shape on. Right. Oh, ball ends up in the, in the side pocket, so. is laid out. Looks like he's going to go for a three foul or at least begin to put him on two. Lock him up right here behind the three ball. Very nice shot. And uh, already BJ's in 
A little bit of trouble early in this rack. You gotta find something to find a way to hit this. You're looking in one, two, maybe three rails under it. It's not an easy shot. If I haven't called your name in the playoffs, then raise your hand, please. If your name hasn't been called for the player auction, call me. Looks like our, our player auction for our nine ball is almost completed. Auction, raise your hand. studying this one hard. He knows he's got to hit this ball. What a shot. And, and he gets a good, great leave on it. It pays to hit it. That's what I've always been known to say. He's calling a cross side. If he can hit it, he's going to hit it behind it. Kick it. Two rails. Just missed that ball. I got three hundred dollars in the pool. Looking for three fifty. Looking for three fifty. The killers just keep walking in the door. I got three hundred to the pool going once with over thirty players. Oh, sorry. Twenty-two players. Twenty-two players. I got three hundred on the pool going twice. I got three twenty. Three twenty on the pool. How about three forty? BJ is studying this table. He's got a, a second chance at this rack. Just when it wasn't looking good for him, he's, he's made his own luck and gotten back to the table with the ball in hand. Three ball is tied up. One, two is right here. But he's trying to find a way to get shape on the three ball. See where it goes. Looking like he might have to play a safe on it. Studying this rack. Does not like it at all. One ball on the side, two ball in the corner. He's going to have to come around it. Draw this ball all the way back to where his hand is, up in that angle. Oh. He gets a nice little bump there. It, uh, looks like our nine ball player auction is, has been completed, so nine ball is going to be started here shortly. It's going to be a matter of trying to juggle who's in what event and when we can get them going. So look for some of the matches that start here shortly. Follow along on uh, we've been using digital pool. So these matches are going to get called. We're, uh, looking to get some exciting matches over in that nine ball event as well. well BJ's trying to find a, a path to get out here. Doesn't look like he has anything. He's going to have to play it safe. And just as I say that, he calls the bank.
looks like he's gonna. He doesn't give him a window, but he's gonna have a way to hit this ball. He can maybe do a little bit of a swerve shot here. Or at least at the minimum, he's gonna hit that short rail and hit kick up behind it. kick up behind it. Let's see what BJ is going to do. I don't know if he's going to play a carom here. Looks like he's, like, he's trying to aim up this carom shot. way he can draw it and hold position for the four. It's a very tough shot he's, he's electing to take on this early. Oh, that last little bump is going to give him a, a shot at it. So Petri's going to call this ball in the corner by the nine. That looks like he might have to draw to get away from that seven. It's definitely not an easy shot for him. He's going to have to give this ball a little bit of juice. Oh, he draws it right off the seven. What a shot. Keeps making it some very. He's got the four ball in the corner. He's going to have to come back south of where he's at, his hand is now, so he can have it. Slow rolls it, and he's going to hang that ball. He got shaped where he wanted, but definitely it was a very difficult shot he was trying to complete there. Right. He just got the four ball hanging. Let's see if he wants to, what side he wants to be on. If he's just going to drag it over to the rail. straight on this ball. He, oh, he's got an angle. He shoot this ball down in the corner. Hold shape for the six in the opposite in this top top left corner. He was just practicing the shot as they were warming up. He hit it a couple times. He was feeling good with it, so Let's see if that continues here. Just got to roll it into the pocket. He doesn't have to slam it or do anything crazy with the cue ball. Just a nice controlled shot here. All right, he's got a little bit of an angle so he can scoot down by the side pocket and be able to shoot the seven ball. Shot. He's got to hit himself an angle so he can come up and shoot the eight ball. And, uh, shoot the eight ball on the side by his, that he's closest to. Very nice shot. He doesn't want to be on the rail. He's got a little bit of an under angle on the 
this eight ball. So it looks like he's going to shoot this nine ball in the bottom left corner, slide over to where he's at, about where he's at now, so we can shoot that ten ball on the side. He might have overhit that ball a little bit, get a little bit of a bump here. He's going to call it in the top left corner. A little bit of a back cut to it. Definitely something that he's supposed to be able to handle here. Focus and just roll this ball in there. Very nice shot from BJ. All right. It's going to be Petri's turn. Petri had that first big break. He did make three balls and just wasn't able to get out there, but hoping for a little bit more luck from this this rack this time as long as he makes one ball and everything's not touching the rail he'd be happy with that as long as he gets an open shot it doesn't matter how many balls he, he can make if he can't get a solid shot the next ball or so BJ Looking for a server, it looks like. Pacing in the background. Trying to keep himself calm. Well hydrated for this long match. It is races at nine on the winner side and seven on the one loss side, loser side. The last chance side, whatever you guys want to call it. Still calling matches for our nine ball. Really? All right, let's see what Petri and Petri can get here. Big break here. He's trying to hope he gets an open shot on this one ball. And he's got an open shot on it. Doesn't, it's not a hanger for it by any means, but as long as he has a swing at it, he should be feeling pretty good. It looks like he's going to be cutting that ball on the right side here. Just to the side of the screen, you see our own Pedro Bolta. One of the ones helping to put on this event here at Rats Billiards in Sanford. Very nice shot. Cuts the one ball on the side. He does get a bump on that. So he's got a long shot here on the two. See how he's feeling. Definitely wants to get a um, roll the two ball up and shoot the four back down in the corner. Very nice shot. Just like that, he's got himself in line. It's a good pattern to get out here. Right. Just gotta make make one good shot here to get open on the five in the corner, and then it's just a, a matter of connecting dots there. Oh, just as I say that. Looks like he's, he's a little hot. hooked him a little bit. BJ's happy to get to the table. I don't know how he's going to proceed to try and kick this ball. He's going to 
put a little bit of a swerve on it. Maybe hit the rail. Very nice shot. Gets up for the five ball in the corner down here. Right, guys, remember you have to share the stream. Get as many people involved as we can. We want to have access to the cameras all weekend. It's going to be two from today, Saturday, and all day Sunday with a full days of high quality pool here in Racks Billiards. All right. BJ's just got to shoot the, this five ball in the corner. He gets up on the north side. There you go. All right, the six ball is a hanger. He's just got to get position on the seven ball. He's going to do things a little bit different than I would. And it's, he drags and puts a nice shot on there. Now, I don't know if he's going to hold up one rail or come around the table two or three rails. Yeah, that's what he's... Give himself a nice angle to come two rails back down on the 10 ball, looks like. And uh, BJ is looking to. Oh, he's just going to hold it one rail. What a very nice shot. All right. BJ's left himself on the rail. Very makeable shot for him. makes this he's gonna go up three games there you go he's up uh you have the other one that's the one oh, all the way over there all right he's up three nothing an alternate break format is very uh very hard and the match can definitely get away from you quickly so he's up three nothing with his break it's still a long way to go. Anything can happen. I'm trying to get set up over here. Now BJ is going to come with another break here. He's been doing well. His, I think his last break he did let, let loose of the cue ball a little bit. It hasn't hurt him so far. He definitely wants to get a little bit more control of that cue ball. See what changes he makes to uh, get a better result from last time. Notice all these guys are breaking in the middle. But normally they have those tournaments where you have to break in the box. It hasn't been an issue so far. All these guys have been breaking right in the middle of the table. Maybe the ball will chew to the left or right. He holds the cue ball this time. He's just hoping to make something. He... Looks like he's gonna he is gonna come up dry here. Petri makes a good shot here on the one. He's making this more difficult on himself. So, leaves himself on the rail and the three balls all the way on the other side of the table. Petri hasn't gotten much love here in the beginning of this match. Well, Race is a nine. It's going to come and go, though, especially with the alternate break format. He's worried that he's a little bit too straight in, but he can just float over and take the long shot on the three ball. It's close to the corner pocket. He wants a little bit more than that. It looks like he has enough of it. He's got a 
nice shot. The four ball is close to the side, so he just needs to make the three and come up towards the middle of the table. Looks like he's come up a little bit short, but he can still has a easy, very makeable shot down in the corner. He can pull back on the for the five ball on the side. Looks like he was kind of looking to see where that nine ball was, whether he has to bump it with the five or not. Beautiful shot. Just got to come one rail out for the six ball. And he's going to end up a little bit shorter than he wants. He's going to have a reach on it. Make him, he's going to make him work for them for this rack. Come one, two rails over, shoot the seven ball on the side. Very nice shot. Looks like he's on the right side of it so he can. Um, no, he's going to have to play the eight ball in the corner. Come back with a little bit of a draw shot here. Just draw back maybe eight inches or so. He doesn't want him to have to move the cue ball too much. Oh, he plays it off the nine ball. Very nice shot. Uh, looks like the nine ball still passes. Roll this eight ball up. All right. Very nice shot he makes there. Just draw back a little bit to shoot the 10 ball in the same pocket. Very nice out from Mr. Petri. All right, 3 1 with his break. Here we go. Guys, 3-1 BJ taking an early lead. Petri with the break though. He has been breaking better in this set so far. He's choosing a break from that same side that BJ has been. He made a couple more balls on the break and he's been able to hold the cue ball pretty well. Squatting it right there in the middle of the table. Yeah. All right. As they say that, the cue ball gets kicked up table. And he's going to be dry on this break. Right. BJ's going to remove the magic rack. It is the something you have to pay attention to in these events. When you're using the magic rack, you want to get it out of the way as early as possible. It is fabric, it is thin, but if you catch the edge of it, land on it, it's gonna affect the cue ball, affect the object ball. It's great for breaking, not so great for when you want to slow roll the ball across it because you really, really do don't know where that ball is gonna go. All right, looks like he's lined up for the one ball on the side, float down table for the two ball. Very uncharacteristic miss. He had good shape on the two, but looks like he might have gotten him on the six. He's looking at the one rail kick over here. Mm. 
Looks like he's going to probably try and call it in the side just in case the two ball is down table, but he's going to be working away from the two ball. Taking some time to think about this. There might be a little bit of table traffic. You can't see that below him. There's another nine foot table on the, on the breaking side where the, or the, where the balls are. You guys have never been here to racks. A little bit of tight mass A shot. Mm. Oh, he's going to give uh, BJ a ball in here and here. Just as I tell you about the other table, we get a little bit of a face pop up on the side, the bottom corner here. Alright, BJ's going to roll this one ball down into the corner so he can get easy shape on the two ball. We got uh, Jesse Link to the left side. He's playing Pedro Bota. Here in our feature match, BJ Usri over Mr. Petri Mackinen. One ball's down. BJ's gonna hold this shoe ball about where it is so he can shoot the three ball on the side. He doesn't want to have to do too much. Looks like he's uh, shoot the three ball on the side. Come up table and Get around that seven ball and then shoot that four ball that's on the rail on the right side. A little bit of top right, it looks like you. He'll leave himself pretty good there. All right, four balls right there on the rail on the right side. He's just got to get back. Ooh. Center table. We can shoot the five balls. It's on the other side. Very nice shot there on the four ball. Looks like he's going to want to come back up table, almost to about where he is, so he can have a good angle on the six ball. Uh, he's going to come two rails across, very nice shot. It's going to leave him a nice position to just be able to float up table on the seven ball. Keeping it as easy as possible. Cut the six ball. Uh, it's so he's cutting this ball with a little bit of inside so he can hold the angle. Put a lot of inside on that ball. Team BJ looks surprised with that one. Looks like that ball goes by the eight ball. Sana. <laughs> yeah, he had plenty of room there. Eight balls towards the corner, so you just got to come back towards the center of the table for the nine ball. That'll do very well. 
hit this ball a little bit of top and float down, maybe hit the rail and have a shot on 10 ball in the corner. All right, I'm shooting the 10 ball. Another game down. Four one BJ. Petri was trying to cut into that three game uh, lead that BJ has, but BJ's not having it. He's trying to hold on to that lead or extend it if he can, especially with his break coming. All these players want to the break any chance they get. Let's see if he moves to the other side of the table here. He looks like he's going to move a little bit more towards the middle. Let's see if he can just squat this cue ball. The break is just not working for BJ. Pinball stays right in the middle of the table. It almost looks like it didn't move at all. I'm watching the quick replay here. Ten ball didn't move at all. One ball ends up up table. Right next to the two ball. He's gonna be very aggressive and break that three and six out. Smart shot from him. A lot more wiggle room on that three ball. Let's see. He's looking to just come in towards the right side pocket. One rail out and be able to shoot the three ball in the corner. Doesn't have to do too much with the cue ball. He's got a good angle here. Might have overrun his position a little bit. He's in that, that 50 yard line, maybe. He's got a cut on the three ball, but it's a little bit more than what he wanted. You got lots of featured matches going on here. You got nine balls just getting so very uncharacteristic scratch from Petri. When you're looking at somebody with a 780 Fargo, you don't expect that ball to scratch. So, BJ's going to get a good chance here to extend his lead. Let's see what uh, more. He's looking where, where he wants this five ball to go. Played in the side. Shouldn't even need to touch the eight ball. Gonna we'll just shoot this four ball from underneath the ten and the ten ball. Definitely does not like that rack on the rail, so he's gonna keep putting it in the, the tray underneath. Straight up, right where he was resetting it. Now he's stuck waiting on the traffic on the other table. Right. 
shoot this five ball on the side with a little bit of draw, just to slide over for the six ball. Got no close to his work, but it's not a problem at all. The seven ball looks like it's right on the rail, so he wants to leave himself a little bit of an angle so he can come back and shoot that eight ball on the side. Looks like he's going to need the uh, the Q extension here. Definitely something you want to have in your bag. You want to practice with it. I, I know a lot of people that they have these extensions and all this extra equipment, but they never practice with it. So take your time. If you want to practice some long shots, practice it with your extension, practice with a bridge. You don't want to be pulling it out for the first time or second time when you're in the middle of a match like this. Even though it's the first round, you don't want to go on the loser, the one loss side this early in this tournament, any tournament. Ideally, you never want to be on the loser side, but statistically speaking, it's going to happen. All right, you just got to run the seven ball down the rail. Eight balls right next to the side, so it's. Mm. Looks like you shoot the eight ball on the side and come all the way down and back. Very nice shot. Using the rails to control the speed, I like it. AJ shoots very well. That's why he's a 750 for Fargo. You get these guys that can definitely put some racks together. Right, let's see. Come two rails out. He's going to leave himself an academic shot here on the 10 ball. All right, now we're at 5-1 uh, BJ. Yeah, game seven, it's Petra's turn. Petra already knew. Yeah, BJ's looking for, he was hiding the rack from Petri over here. He doesn't doesn't like it on the rail. That's uh, some people just they can't have that uh, temptation for the eye to grab it. You leave it on the rail, you see it, and it bothers your eye, you keep gravitating towards it. Petri's got to get something going here. He keeps moving his uh, cue ball over towards the center of the table. Maybe drifting towards the right side by now. And bobbles the one, the three ball down here. He didn't give uh, himself an easy first shot does make a ball. Cue ball's in the center of the table. It's what you want, but you want more of an opening shot than this. We've seen him bank in the first rack, and he's definitely not shy. Fire this bank in here. Something that would make Mr. Uh, DeLauder proud. Oh. It's way underneath it. He wouldn't have liked the two ball from there anyway. BJ's going to go ahead and move that rack underneath the table. Oh, well, you're going to move it on top of the light, so. It's the first day for these racks. They are for the tournament. That's a long shot on the one ball. Shape on the two. Looks like he's going to come far enough. Not a 
He's got an angle, that's for sure. You just gotta worry about making this two balls, three balls hanging, so. You can use that three ball to get position anywhere. Great shot there on the two ball. And he's gonna leave himself underneath the seven so he can kick at this three ball. No, he's come right off the rail and be able to shoot it. Get back up table on the five ball. He's gonna leave himself. He's almost straight in. Might have a little bit of an angle. Uh, closest would be Sanford Airport. Uh, no, Enterprise is right there on Lake Mary Boulevard. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, we're getting a question from the tournament desk. One of our players just got in. Trying to figure out the closest place to rent a car. Definitely helps with you have the locals' knowledge. Uh, looks like PJ's gonna hit this ball to draw and come back down on, underneath where he's at. Wants to get an angle on the seven ball, and he does. up table and you know, leave himself a great angle just to be able to maybe come forward or stop the cue ball just whatever you feel comfortable with he's gonna get on the north side of it that way he could just bump this off the rail and be able to shoot it shoot 10 ball and make this another early rack not too much safety play going on here BJ steals another one. You definitely want to win your racks, but every time you get to steal an opponent's rack, it's, it's perfect. Okay. Very ideal. Six one BJ. The one and only. I did. I did end up getting a buy over there, or a forfeit over there. Dennis? Yeah, still not. Wow. What are you doing, dog? I said, I don't want it all the way over there. I don't want it all the way over there. I want it right here to keep these people for me. Right there. He's going to adjust it for me. All right. So BJ can come up with on the break here. Thank you. They both been struggling with the break. It's gonna be a matter of who can figure it out. Huh? Oh, he's gonna be needy. What's up with that? Right in the center of the table. I don't know. Both players are struggling with this break here. BJ's been able to get the best of the the next part of the racks. You want to come up? Huh? Well, uh, no. BJ's got a shot on this one ball here. Two balls not in a great spot. <laughs> He had shape on it, but shape doesn't matter when you can't make the ball. Everybody knows. Huh? 
Now, if I was Petri, I'd be calling this 10 ball to try and just get rid of some of this damage. I like to shoot this ball, not dead at it, almost real first. See if he's calling the 10 ball. He's gonna fire it. He, he hit that ball dead. Great shot from Petri. That's where at. Rocky Post. Say something. Up top. Mm. Patrick makes quick work out of that rack. Kind of minimizes the damage there. BJ keeps hiding the rack on Petri. Puts it underneath the rack on top of the light. Neither player is comfortable with the break so far. So we're uh, at the ninth rack in, still no no breaking runs here. It's been uh, the second effort that's gotten uh, the job done. Hmm. Petri hasn't moved it in a minute, so it's almost like it's glued down. Poor guy. Even when you win a game, you still can't move your coin. Makes it difficult. Looks like BJ's just gonna get another one for him. Let's see what Petri comes up with this break. He's gonna let this cue ball fly. Two balls down. I'm making four balls on the break. Very nice, and he still doesn't have a open shot here. He's gonna have to bank that to one ball. Right, three, six, five, seven. They all found the hole quickly. But it leaves him nothing but a bank here. Makes a great shot on that. All right, he looks like the four balls on the reel. He's got to get the two ball to just up table a little bit. Great shot there from Petri. So, looks like Petri's taking his time with this rack. He wants to make sure he can Cut into this lead BJ has with a quick rack on that last one, and now this definitely headed in the right direction for Petri. These guys, once they get to this level, you can never count them out. Great shot. I'm just gonna tap this eight ball in, come back down, leave himself an angles to get to the ten ball. You want to angle, you don't want to be completely straight in. And you might just have to roll this ball out a little bit. Kind of slide it towards the 10 ball. Take his time. Very nice shot. <laughs> Just as I was talking about new breaking runs, it uh, Petri makes four balls in the break and connects the dots here. It goes from six one to six three. That's that quickly.
All right, guys, BJ back at the table. It's going to be his break. Come in to rack number 10. Odds and evens here. That's how you remember it. BJ at six, Petri at three. BJ would like to mirror that performance. He's going to take his break position. Six balls down. And he's got a shot on the one ball. I'd look to see him come down here and move this rack out of the way just because. It's a, it's a habit now. I just get in the habit of hope. Oh. He definitely doesn't like it up on the light if it's going to fall down, so go ahead and just put it on the ground. I mean, it's a, it's a good pattern here. You just got to get in line on the two ball. You have great angle on the one ball. BJ just taking his time to make sure he, he knows where he wants to get and make sure he knows how to get there. He's gonna have a shoot the two ball on the side. Come back into the middle of the table for the three ball. Hopefully in that same side pocket. You just have to make sure you get on that four ball. You can just slide it down a little bit. Just want to make sure you get past the ten ball. Looks like from that angle it's going to work. Hmm. BJ's got a nice shot at this ball. Taking his time, double checking his angles, make sure he knows exactly where he wants to be. Stay in line, roll that ball in nice and smooth. Very nice shot. <coughs> Ends up with the cue ball and the 10 ball, it shouldn't be a problem. Punch this cue ball up one, two rails. Get on that seven ball in that top right corner. Uh, pull at this level is just easy. You don't want to have to do too much with the cue ball. Just keep it simple. Puts a very nice stroke on that. Now from his angle here, it looks like he just needs to get back close to that side rail. Be able to shoot that eight ball down towards his bottom left corner so it can lead him right to that nine ball. Plays a nice shot there. It's just of enough of an angle to get down to for this nine ball. A little bit of follow. To roll down so he can shoot this nine inside. That's what he's just trying to make sure. Uh, Come <laughs> on, well, guys, make sure you like and share our stream. We have been getting more and more followers throughout the day. These are only the beginning matches, but it's just going to get better as the days go on. Right. He's got 
got a little bit of a tester here. It's not an easy shot. He wanted to be down a little bit further, but definitely somebody of his, his Fargo should definitely be able to handle this ball. That very nice. Comes back around, shoots a straight in 10 ball. Very nice here from BJ. Just like that, 7 3, guys. All right, I'm back. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn that down a little bit. There we go, it should be a little bit better now. All right, so uh, what did I miss here? Looks like uh, BJ Usry's, uh, wow. Must be playing some good pool here. Leading this match seven to three against Petri Mackinen from Finland. That's pretty good stuff. Petra laid a pretty nice break there, so uh, see what he can do with it. Um, he's already looking at the uh, the problem there with the three ball. He's going to have to uh, develop something for this uh, three off the two. I don't really see anything easy. I mean, the three does go in the side where the two is. Uh, I believe that's probably the only pocket that's available for the two ball or the three ball, so he may... Uh, he may try to get over there behind the 7-3, uh, or um, he may go ahead and try to break it up off the two. Um, <clears throat> I think if it was me, I would probably try to figure out a way to break it up. Um, and this is probably the better way. More than likely, he's planned on uh, drawing into these two balls straight across. Bam. I'd like to hit him dead in the middle and that way to push the three towards the side pocket. He goes the other way and tries to get pinpoint position right here. And how did he hit it, folks? Wow. That's a great shot. I mean, you couldn't, uh, I don't think he could place that cue ball better with ball in hand as good as he hit that ball. Very nicely done by Petri. All he's got to do is just follow this cue ball with the three, get it past the eight, and get an open shot on the four ball, just like so. Looking pretty good now, so he should uh, definitely got the layout here. I expect him to uh, slice this four ball in, bounce it off the rail, back out to the center of the table. Don't want to go past the straight end, but it's not the end of the world if he does. Which it looks like uh, he hit my line pretty pretty good here. So uh, straight in, so he's going to be forced to just follow it up and take the six in the opposite corner. That's how good he hit position on that four ball. Now he doesn't want to be straight in on this six. I'm assuming this is probably the issues that he's been having throughout the match. Probably some speed control uh, issues, not getting uh, the cue ball exactly where he would like to get. I believe he does have a small uh, a small angle on the six ball to get him over for the seven. He might not like it, but there is a small angle. Um, I think if I was to shoot this ball here, I would go ahead and just probably just stun it out over here, or he could could he could force follow it. Yeah. It almost looked like he was in a tweener there, but I think he got dead perfect on the seven ball. I believe the seven goes, uh, I believe he can get past the eight for the seven in the corner. Or maybe not. <laughs> He's going for the short cue, so 
Maybe he didn't quite get there. So we're looking at an aerial attack. Pulling out the jump cue. He only has to jump just a little bit. So if he can just, it shouldn't change his trajectory of the shot that much. Don't expect him to, uh, to really hit it hard. Uh, if he makes this ball, it should slide over just enough where he can take the eight in the opposite corner up top where he was standing at and um, give him the out. I'm sure he's a little frustrated with himself not getting uh, a decent shot here on the seven ball. But like I said, I think he, well, he's, he's bending over quite a bit, so he might have a stretching uh, problem here, a reaching problem. It's up to you. All right, so uh, straight in, jump shot, draw it straight back or stop it, and that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't much of a jump, as you can tell. There was very little hop on the cue ball. That makes your accuracy a lot better when it comes to jump shots. Back cut, all right. Nicely done by Petri. Got beautiful shape on the 10 ball. Just to uh, shorten his deficit by a little bit. Four certainly looks better than three. So he's gonna inch a little bit closer to, uh, to BJ Usry. Nicely done. Got himself out of trouble. And let's have a word from our sponsors. Crypto World is about to change, introducing AlphaCoin, the official cryptocurrency of billiards worldwide. It's the perfect solution for poor players and citizens to transact, store assets, invest, and gain in multiple ways. Alpha is also the currency of Alphabets.com, the official billiards gaming site. Don't miss out. Invest, trade, and win. Go to AlphaCoin.io to set up your wallet and get in on the action. With more than 300 million players worldwide, don't be controlled, be free, be an alpha. All right, don't forget, guys, we um, are doing a pay-per-view live stream, so if you will, just do me a favor and share the stream. I would greatly appreciate it. We've got uh, a lot of superb world champions in the building waiting for their time to shine here on the live stream table. That's the only bad thing is you got so many good matchups. You know, you got to pick one yeah. every six, uh, six or so matches. It's, it's tough. Yeah, for sure. We're going to uh, – <laughs> We got to be careful who we pick for the live stream. I mean, you know, a lot of players are going to want their their time to shine, but unfortunately, we have one live stream table and lots of great players. So we're just going to have to try to uh, get them in there as as good as we can. And uh, BJS uh makes a solid break here, and uh, it's looking pretty nice here on the one ball. I expect them to take the. Uh, Two row position for shape. Here, here, back out to the middle. He'd like to be somewhere in this range. That way all he gotta do is just draw off the two ball just a little bit to have a shot on the three ball. He could one roll it, but two row gives you a little bit more ability to uh, smoothing out your stroke a little better. And that's pretty much how he did it. Almost. I'm getting Dead really good at this. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm getting really good at this. Anytime I was guessing what BJ was going to do, he proved me wrong every ah, single time. Yeah, so. Right. <laughs> My spaghetti model would not have uh, would not have worked out, let me tell you. Yeah, it had been a little uh, on the wider side, huh? <laughs> All right, let me get rid of this mark here. I don't know why it's not clearing it, but... That will do it. All right, back to the good camera angle. All right, so here we go. One rail position back out to the center of the table for the four in the side pocket. And there we have it. Like to be straight in on this ball or close to it, and that's good enough. He's, he's definitely got the speed down to these tables yeah, rather quickly. Yeah, he? he seems to be doing really well with the speed part of it. Um, Petri was here for a couple days. Um, Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think uh, BJ was here early this week. He just kind of showed up today. Yeah, he just showed up. I don't even know if he showed up last night, did he? I didn't see him. I haven't seen him, so, yeah, he's No, like, he was here last night, but I, he, here? he didn't have his cues with him. Oh, okay. He did participate in uh, last night's festivities, so. He must have remembered how the tables play from the last year he was here. <laughs> yeah, he, he he's did, hitting pretty good. Yeah, he did good with them last year, so. Yeah, he's. Uh, he, he's putting a repeat performance on. Yeah. Very good. Got to get this cue ball to roll some more. A little more. I don't, I don't think he got there. I don't think he can get around the nine. He might be pulling out the short cue here for this one. I'm pretty sure it doesn't go uh, go past the nine ball. Well, it looks a little closer that way. So he's looking at it like he does uh, does have a shot on this six ball. He he's does. Gonna, he's just going to pretend the nine ball is not even there. Yeah, that's that's basically the way to do it. Hit it with high high English. And just run it straight down the rail. There you go. Oh, he had some jism on that ball. Yeah, Good he, shot. That wasn't just English. That was Spanish, too. Yeah, for sure. He had a lot from of, hanging around this room a little bit today. Yeah, no doubt. He had a lot of uh, lot of inside on that ball and uh, worked it quite, a well, quite well. So uh, expect him to go one rail. Back to the center of the table. He like to be kind of straight in. He's very close. Well, judging by that one, he was perfectly straight. Ten ball in the same pocket. Just put him on the heel first against Petri Mackinnon. And there you have it, folks. On the heel first. All right, it's going to be Petri's break. So Petri just figured out the break uh, two racks ago. So making three and four balls at a time. It's wow. That's okay. strong. Makes it a lot easier to run out six than having to run out nine. No doubt. Everyone likes to play six ball. A lot better than ten ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where you get those really high Fargos. <laughs> yeah. And one of these guys are pushing 800. It's all about the break. Yep, and here we go. Petri Mackinnon breaking rack number 13. Trailing the match, four to eight. Trying to stay alive. Breaking very close to the center of the table, which is my favorite break. Yeah, he just and lets he, it rip. Yeah, he pounds it pretty hard. I don't think that's really the way to go. He, get, he does get a ball in, and uh, he may have an opening shot here on the one ball in the side pocket. can't talk to him, but you can hear really good. Okay, Petri's got a good shot here. What do we got, the four ball? Yep, four ball, back to the center. You guys notice, uh, actually that's the five ball he's playing for. Four ball's already down, so uh, Center of the table and rotation pulls most likely always going to be your best friend. You'll notice these guys are playing center table position most of the time. And as I say that, he got a little straight on the six ball, so he's going to be forced to uh, pound this off the roll just a little bit. He's but, definitely working on his confidence. Yeah. It's maybe a little bit too late, but. You never count them out, especially in these kind of matches with you got a 780 Fargo, 750. It just takes one yeah, swing. Yeah, these kind of players, yeah, for sure. It only takes one swing, yeah, for the momentum to change. And he was perfectly straight in. He struck that ball really well. It's really the only issue I see that Petri's having is uh, speed controls a little, a little off at the moment. He's not getting exactly where he wants to get. He's having to, uh, to really work this cue ball to just uh, just to get a shot, really. He's not really maintaining position, but he's just getting what uh, what he can get from the table at the moment. And this is uh, this is still first round action, so it's going to take these guys, you know, maybe a couple rounds to to get acclimated to the uh, humidity that we have. We did just come through a uh, well, it's a small uh, 
small hurricane, as you can tell just by that, that, that eight ball didn't go in because it touched the rail. Humidity plays uh, a big factor when you when you touch the rail. I know they had, uh, Dom was in here measuring it the other day. I think you had it at 64%. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's uh, really high. That's, yeah, that's, that's something Mike House was talking about way back when. Yeah. Humidity is so very high. It plays completely different. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't. You can't afford to touch the rail going in because uh, it will it will bounce it off the rail before it gets to the pocket. But on another note, as uh, you just saw with BJ, you know when you go rail first like that, uh, the good thing about the uh, the boing in this is you don't have to hit it very hard because it will boing that ball right around the table. That was a very nice uh, rail first shot by BJ and. Uh, He's got a great opportunity to take this match down right here. Yeah, he definitely wants to close this out right now. One row, straight back up, shoot the 10 in the same pocket. Oh, not him. He's being fancy now. He's just letting the cue ball go. Yeah, that's where you take advantage of the boinginess off the rails, but that was a little, uh, that was a little excessive. He's probably just wanting Petri to know who he is. There's a little bit of adrenaline behind that shot. Yeah, for sure, yeah. There's, that was definitely uh, unnecessary for that one. And uh, BJ takes it down, wins his first match of the uh, third annual Mucci Classic. 9-4, he's back on a pace. He hasn't lost a match year, I guess, in, uh, all last year too, Oh, right? I guess so. He's yeah. keeping that streak going. That's right. All right, guys, well, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we're going to see what we can do to get the next match uh, up for you guys. So just give us a moment, and we'll be right back.